Okay, it's time to do a test patch up of that insulation material using that water based glue. Uh, this is in another video, I believe. Contact cement, 100% solvent free, low odor. So, what I've done, this has got a bit of a shiny surface, so I did rough it up a bit with a sandpaper. Uh, not sure if I have to stir this or not, but what the heck. Not sure if I have to, but I'll give this a quick stir. It's got a milky, thicker than milk consistency. Yeah, I don't think it needed to be stirred. They say apply it with a brush or whatever. All I've got are these foam brushes here right now. I think you apply it, let it sit up for half an hour, apply it to both surfaces, and then when it's tacky, press it up with uh, pressure on it. I was kind of concerned it might be thick, but it's pretty thin stuff, so should be able to get a lot of coverage out of it, I hope. Now I'll apply it to the fiberglass surface. I want to try it. I want to try it on this curved surface here, just to see how it's going to if it conforms easily to the. Uh, shape of the trailer and it's pretty drippy messy stuff and there's no smell to it so that's nice hence no respirator now they say if you let this dry too much they won't make contact with each other, but then it's just a matter of putting another skin over top to reactivate it. So far, it's nice stuff to work with. And it washes out with water, so I can just go give myself a rinse here and show an order. Now, I think those pieces were about two feet by maybe a foot in total. I'm just kind of guessing here. Okay, for my purposes, that's good. Now I'll just go rinse off all the scrapola. I could probably wash that brush out too or toss it. That'd be too warm. Uh, well, we'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, until she sticks, it's instantaneous. They say so. They got to make sure your lineup is is right on. Okay, I didn't spread the glue out far enough. So that's fine. Now I'll take a roller. Seems to be sticking to the shape's okay. So. Now if I find this stays on, I'll just leave it on and uh, work around it with the other stuff. So far, so far, very nice glue to work with. The second strip right beside it, again, they say make sure you've got it exactly where you want it. Oops, there it was. I'm not too concerned with these gaps here. I can always take the uh, red tuck tape, or what we call tuck tape up here. Sure, I get it right on the radius of that corner there. I want to get the gap. Let's 
see here, I just put the glue up to go here. Now I don't know if I find this doesn't work, if it's giving you too much of a gap. It might not be a big deal because airspace is uh, insulation. I'll try it from this end. just did the eco foam so I'll let this tack up here for half an hour or 45 minutes and I'll press it on and see how it uh, conforms. So this piece here I just put more on here we'll let it dry for half an hour just to get that back up there again. And I took the my piece of marine vinyl and it's over there and it's soaking and it'll be attached to here. This side, I don't know, it's got a different kind of waffle pattern on it. I don't know if it's going to need two coats of this glue or not. with the vinyl now. I re-glued this. It's up there. Let's just line this up. Yeah, I didn't put it on quite square. Mm, I don't know if this stuff is going to stick as well. I know they mentioned on more porous surfaces they'll need two coats. This may be more porous. As it is there now, it seems to stick okay. If I do another test strip, I'll put two coats on this. Uh, I'm not worried about cleanliness right now. This is all just a test. I should have drew it up here a little further, but no worries. So here's how it looks so far. There's our ceiling, that first layer of foam, that eco foam, and then our uh, marine grade vinyl. Now I know that's impossible to see there, but actually it formed nice and smoothly. I'm just going to trim it up here right now for the part that I didn't actually glue. this to sit up overnight just to see how it's going to adhere. Now upon inspection, I don't know if you can see that, I've got a bubble there so if I do use this method I'll have to make sure I've got complete coverage. As I inspect along here it's sticking pretty good. I'd be hard pressed I think to pull that off. It seems to do pretty good. I'm sure there will be a few spots here where I've... That's... Yeah, I think this method's going to work. I guess my only other concern is how it holds up in the cold weather up here. But, uh, like I'm talking 30 below or whatever over winter. But I don't think that will be a problem. So right now we're looking at... 
What do we got there? I can't quite see. So that's about seven eighths of an inch or something, I think. Thickness for insulation. So if I do decide to go with this method, uh, it will be well insulated. Now I also won't put the marine grade vinyl in spots like behind cupboards and whatnot. Uh, no use spending the extra money for something that won't be seen. So anything visible, any of the wall surfaces that are visible will be covered in the vinyl. That'll be a last step though. So once all the cupboards are in, then I'll put the insulation in I think and anything behind cupboards and stuff like that I might add an extra layer of that foil stuff you can buy at Home Depot or something like that just for insulation depending on the cost.